Must be ginger, must be gentle. Everything in life is elemental. You must be good, you must be gentle. Everything in life is elemental. <laughs> the witch's brew <laughs> in the spell book. That's my Disneyfied Hollywood edition. Audition, not edition, audition. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, this video is for all my tuna, tuna sandwich lovers, okay? I know it's a polarizing sandwich. It goes, you know, really one of two ways. It's like you love it or you hate it. I love it, even though seafood, really not my favorite thing, but tuna has always been kind of my thing. So I got all the fixings here to put together some nice build our own adventure tuna sandwiches here. I'm going to do two of them, uh, two different little ways, just little micro tweaks. But this Crave, like I said in another video, Tucker talks, it just, I saw his video with the ripple chips and the tuna. It's like, I've just been thinking about it ever since. So I picked up some brand new, fresh, locally made white bread, nice and soft. And then we got the chips here and the tuna here and some pickles here and some banana pepper rings here. And we're going to put it together now. So today's video, a little different. We have a little, uh, you know, if you build it, they will come type scenario, right? A little Bob the Builder, Build the Bears. All right, so this is white albacore tuna, Hellman's mayo, a pinch of salt, and then like basically julienne or maybe even brunois style dill pickle and white onion, which is pretty much my favorite way to make tuna. But the real magic is it's been in the fridge for about 30 hours, okay? My tuna experience, my favorite tuna experience is that of one that is about 36 to 48 hours of marinating in the fridge and getting super delish. Because honestly, the longer it sits and just marries together for a couple days, the better it is. I can just promise you that. So I think I have enough to make two nice stacked sandwiches i don't think i could stretch three i don't need three though i'm not super super starving this is just like a nice perfect two sandwich meal not crazy crazy filling and that's the type of meal that i'm looking for right about meow so we're gonna lace or lay the base of two of these breads all right and then we're just gonna do a light little rendition on each so we've got our tuna laid and on one i'm gonna do i gotta use these up i have four slices of these kosher dills left which i just want to do an extra pickle even though there's pickle already in the mix might as well just add these use them up get them dealt with and on top of those Banana pepper rings, banana pepper rings in a tuna sandwich are incredibly, incredibly delicious in my opinion. And then this is the move that I have never really tried. And that video that got me going, Jim's video, is the, uh, just the additive of a ripple chip. I just never really did it with tuna. I don't know why I never thought of it, even though it makes sense. Just something that I'm not, I was never used to. So we gotta ripple these chips <laughs> and they are hard to stack, I'm not gonna lie. And then we get a crunchy press factor, right? You gotta do a crunchy press factor. Now he loaded the shit out of his sandwich with chips, which, I, which I'm not doing as crazy as he did, but he had it straight like this, just the chips and the tuna with a similar mix, but no uh, extra additives. So we're keeping one, one pure for the original inspiration and then one modified. Now here is a question. Do I do a diagonal cut and stack on the super softs? Oh, and this bread is so super soft. Must be ginger, must be gentle. Everything in life is elemental. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh, that looks good. Oh, those look good. You must be good. You must be gentle. Everything in life is elemental. <laughs> I don't know why 
I just laughing because Hocus Pocus Two is out, and it's like that's what they talk like in it, right? The the witches brew <laughs> in the spell book. That's my Hollywood fucking. That's my Disneyfied Hollywood edition. Audition, not edition. Audition. What am I doing? What am I doing? What? How old timey people used to say what? Like my grandpa used to put the H before the W. He'd be what are you saying? I'm like what are you saying? Why why is there an H before the W? Let's just open up the playing field. There we go. We're in the stadium, the Coliseum of Tuna Sandwiches. We're gonna go with the one that inspired it all, with that soft, soft bread, fresh baked today. Mm. Come on. Can't beat a good tuna sandwich. Crave cam activated. Really though. So, so good. Absolute stickler for albacore white. It's a rich man's too now, but once you go back, or once you go albacore, you never go back. I do like those chips though. That chip additive is nice. And like I said, If you're, if you're wise, you'll make your tuna like the night before and then make your sandwiches the next day. Mm. And if you're really, really wise, you'll go ahead and put some mild Banana pepper is gonna make some literally amazing. Something I didn't learn until probably a year and a half, two years ago. tried it one day and had my wig blown back all right I'm saving best for last this one's good but that one's better all right, something that often troubles me about having a tuna sandwich is we all know that there are certain soups and sides that belong with certain sandwiches. Soups and sides and certain sandwiches. But... What is a soup that belongs with a tuna sandwich? I don't know that there is one. I think that's like a tuna sandwich is more a tuna sandwich and then honestly like the ripple chips or some sort of chips. On the side, 
kind of like fries. Maybe that's a move. Or just fries. But I've never known there to be a soup that just matches with the tuna sandwich. Do you know what I mean? Let me know if you know something I don't. Put me on game. All right, this one for sure is the breadwinner. It's all about that extra little bit of acidity. The weird thing though about me being a albacore purist is that I know that Subway's tuna is made with some low end, like dark meat, maybe like skipjack or something like that. That's the only other tuna sandwich that somehow somehow it gets past <coughs> wrong pipe gotta stop vacuum sucking my tuna sandwiches I guess Hit the crave spot so hard, it's so perfect. Mm. Perfectly soft, perfectly tender. Alright, y'all. Peter picked a pack of pickled peppers until the next one. You know what to do. You do live well. It's very true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.